Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about limit. So now I want to show you how to answer. We have the formula in here. That is about a minus b multiplied by a plus b equals to a square minus b square. So, for this one, we just have a minus b, just like a in here, b in here. So, we want to create about a square minus b square. So, we need to multiply by a plus b on numerator and denominator. Next, this one, we need to transform into this one, and we have 1 minus s minus s, because we have the power 2, that's why we can solve about the square root. So, this one we simplify, and we have 1 minus 2s. Next. We divide by s on numerator and denominator. So s go inside the square root, and we have like this. Similar for the second one. So we have 1 divided by s square, s divided by s square. Similar for this one. So as you can see that if we put s approach to number uh, s approach to positive infinity. This one they go to 0, 0, and 0. So that means we cannot divide by s. So we need to divide by the square root of s from here. So that means if we divide by the square root of s, it will be like this. Now we simplify again. Now we have 1 divided by the square root of s and s divided by the square root of s. We have like this. Because s represents about the square root of s to the power of 2. So this one divide by this one, so we have this one in here. And as you can see that, when s approach to number positive infinity, this one you got 0. However, we have the negative number 1. So now that means the square root of negative number 1, you got about the complex numbers in here. That means the value of s go to positive infinity, they will go to imaginary unit. That's it about the complex unit. This one, you got number 0. However, this one, they still go to positive infinity. But we have the negative sign in here. Negative with the positive infinity, you got negative infinity. Negative infinity, so they will be negative infinity. Divide by complex number and number one. So you still have 
negative infinity but that should be in the complex numbers or if you don't know so you can put about like this i represent for this one and this one for positive number one so we can put like this this is the end thank you for watching